Fancy. Hey everybody, Kyle here with Spicer Designs. Welcome back to the channel. All right, I have to get everything hooked up here. Oh, damn it! Where's my little thingamabob? There it is. All right, what I have for you today is a little bonus video, a little weekday action. I know not everyone's into the laser engravers, so I try to keep this stuff during the week. So I recently did a video on this. This is the newest X-Tool CO2 laser engraver. This is the P3. It is an 80 watt CO2 laser and it has a massive cutting surface on it. It's got an autofocus bed, which you can see it dropping right there. This thing is pretty damn impressive. I've already done a full video on this thing, so we're not gonna go into all the details. If you want that information, I'll leave a link for that video at the end of this video. This is what we're gonna work on today. Now, X-Tool claims that the P3 will cut through a solid piece of three quarter inch thick cherry hardwood. They actually sent me this block of cherry hardwood here. It's a really, really nice piece of wood. I thought about maybe building a bookshelf out of it or something, but it's, it's too small. I don't know, maybe, maybe it could. This is gonna be a pretty quick video. This is really all I wanna do. I just wanna see if this thing will actually cut through piece of cherry. Now, in the previous video, I tried cutting through some, I think it was 5 8 plywood. So with plywood, you have multiple layers of plywood and you have glue. And what they told me was that the glue in the plywood really messes with the cut. It kind of gums everything up and the laser can't pass through efficiently. But with a solid piece of wood like this, supposedly it'll cut through this in one pass. We're going to find out. Sure hope they were telling the truth, because if not, we're gonna expose them. I'm gonna turn on the air purifier. Okay. This is their new version of X-Tool Creative Space, X-Tool Studio. I haven't done a whole lot of experimenting with it yet, but I know it does more. I think it's got some AI technology built into it as well. I'm gonna figure out just a quick little design that I could put on there, and we'll see if we can rip through this thing. All right, first things first, cutting this thicker material, we are to use the L lens for lower, I'm assuming that's what it means. The good thing is that the P3 comes with different lenses for different materials. So we're all set up to go there. As far as what we're gonna cut, this right here is 14 gauge mild steel. This is my first cut on the Boss Plasma table. I took a picture of this, uploaded it onto Xtool Studio, and we have it right there. I kind of fatten it up a little bit so it'd fill out this piece of wood. So we're gonna be making a lot of cuts through here. We're gonna see if it can cut out those letters, that whole thing. In my settings, for power I have it at 100%, speed at four millimeters per second, one pass. I toggled the lower the focus by two millimeters. Those were settings provided to me by X-Tool. The cool thing is, like all of the X-Tool stuff and a lot of other laser engravers, it'll take a picture of your material and then you can place your design right over it. So it makes it really easy to put your design accurately on the material. And what's cool about the new P3 is Xtool has built in this automation creation system, which allows this thing to have auto positioning, auto focus on the material, and auto raise and lower on the bed. It's basically a way to make the machine machine more efficient, especially when you're using it for like business use, doing a lot of batching and a lot of volume. Little things like that just make the whole process go a lot faster. All right, the only thing left to do is to try it out. I do have the AP2 air purifier hooked up to it. Not ideal, this really should be vented outside and we're gonna be doing a lot of burning in there so it might get smoky, I don't know. We're gonna see just how good that thing is. All right, we're gonna hit process. It's estimating that it's gonna take six minutes and 31 seconds. Basically gave us a warning that this could catch fire. So you can't leave something like this unattended. You shouldn't leave anything unattended actually. Process ready. Oh boy. Auto bed comes up. I do see smoke blowing through the bottom of it. I think, I think it is cutting it. I don't know if you could see underneath there, but there's little sparks coming out. So this thing doesn't actually have an exhaust fan in it. It just relies on your external exhaust, which in our case is 
the AP2. It's pretty impressive. Oh, we got our first one to drop through. actually given us a live feed on Xtool Studio so you can watch it through the camera as it cuts. I'll be honest, I didn't think it was gonna cut through that. It was right, six minutes and 31 seconds. Moment of truth. Did it cut through? Ah, oh, damn it. I need to let it suck the rest of that smoke out of there. The air purifier actually did really well. There's no smoke in here. I don't smell it. Not until I just opened it and there's still smoke left. All right, it's, it's pretty cleared out now. Okay. Some of them look close. Let's look at the back of it. It looks like it all went through. I just have to kind of push them out of there. There it is. It looks like it cut through or real close to it. I should be able to just pop these out. <laughs> that is impressive. There was only one spot right there. It was kind of hung up. I don't know what happened there. Might have been like a knot or some sap, but look at that cut. There's no charring in it, it's just nice and smooth. So that one has a little spot. As I'm doing this, other pieces are just falling out. There goes the M, there goes the A. There goes the E. Yeah, this is this is good. So all the letters, I mean, that's insane. Some of you more creative people could really do some cool stuff with this. I mean, just the letters themselves. I just can't get this one piece out right here. It's real close. There we go. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. It's like there's something Oh, uh, it's like a little knot. You can kind of see it in there. That is pretty impressive. Three quarter inch solid cherry. So there you have it. It will cut through thick wood. There's some jokes there, I already know. Well, that's it. I basically wanted to see if it would cut through it and it did cut through it. I'm gonna get this little piece cleaned up. I'm gonna sand it down and I'm gonna put some stain or sealer on it and give this away to one of you guys. This is at least worth $5,000, maybe not. All you have to do to get entered to win this, just comment, machine, machine. And then at some point we'll have a little drawing, maybe in a live stream, I'm hoping. We did just hit 100,000 subscribers. I did just put in the um, order for my YouTube plaque for hitting 100,000. And I'm hoping to do a live stream and open that plaque up with you guys. And maybe there we'll announce a winner for this little thing right here. It's nothing special, but I mean, I don't know, you can maybe set it on your desk or something, or your workbench, or put it on your mantle, you can put it on the dashboard of your truck. You can carry it with you. Maybe that wrench would work for something. You could use it as kindling to start a fire. <laughs> I really don't give a shit what you use it for. Now, I always try to keep the video somewhat entertaining, even if you're not actually into what that content is, like some people aren't into laser engravers. These things, they're no joke. They're pretty expensive. And I would say uh, an engraver like the X-Tool P3 is definitely gonna be more appealing to someone that's running a business with it and trying to make some serious money with it, which you 100% can. I did get some news from X-Tool. They do have a trade up program 
where if you have any kind of a laser at all, you can trade it or something like that. There's probably gonna be more information on their website, but you can get like 500 bucks off of your P3. And there's more. They're having a Black Friday grand finale slash Cyber Monday frenzy sale. I haven't had a frenzy in a while. And that sale is gonna go from November 3rd, which is, we're already past that, to December 5th. And you could save up to $1,500 on the P3. So I would say if you are leaning toward getting one of these new P3s, now is 100% the time to do it. You could save some serious money. And I will leave all that information down in the description, as I always do. But that's all I got for this one. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Woo-wee! Save some money. This thing is practical. There's a lot of uses for this thing. <laughs> not bad. I think I chipped a tooth, but not bad. What the hell is that? A pube? A long one. <laughs> one hell of a beat right there.